Oxford UK is the, a mobile bearing. So, so mobile bearing can move according to the relationship between the tibia and the femur component. Uh, but it can dislocate. So to avoid dislocation, so flexion gap and the X gap can be uh, should be the same, completely the same, uh, within one millimeter. So otherwise, so in the flexion is loose, the bearing can dislocate in flexion and the extension is loose. The bearing can dislocate in extension. So, but this is the essential. So, flexion gap equals a flexion gap. How to do this? So, so to uh, adjust the flexion gap and the extension, as you know, the fre make flexion gap first, then adjust extension gap using the mirror. Yes, so oh, that is M1 millimeter. So we can adjust the within one millimeter. So uh, the most important is indication. Indication is quite, quite simple, straightforward. So one is a monochondrial osteoarthritis in the medial side or lateral side. And this side is in for thickness, defect, or cartilage, or bone on bone appearance. And opposite condyle uh, should be normal. So for the medial side or the lateral cartilage should be uh, preserved and intact ACL. Okay. So, or osteonecrosis. So in the most osteonecrosis, have the intact bracket and the intact ACL because of uh, pre osteonecrosis before the osteonecrosis, in the most patient everything was normal maybe in the shape. So it's quite simple. That's all. And another condition is acceptable for the femoral arthritis. So, and of course, pain and function risk continues despite of conservative treatment at least three or six months. <clears throat> but uh, there is another in indication of the causes, strict indication. So, this is for fixed bearing, mainly for the fixed bearing. So, monochondrial osteoarthritis and ACL functioning without, so uh, we should avoid high, uh, heavy patient, young patient, and active, uh, high activity and heavy labor, and chondrocarcinosis of lateral meniscus and cartilage, exposed bone in other femoral joints. That means the full thickness cartilage wear on the Patellar femoral joint and flexion contracted more than 15 degrees and the severe various deformity, uh, such as more than 185 degrees in FDA, uh, lateral osteophyte and osteoporosis, and so many. So, if we apply these indications, the the patient number, the percentage should be smaller. In most uh, national registration, the UTA percentage is around 10%. So around 7, 8, or up to 13%. But actually, you're using this indication, uh, at least 50% should be a candidate for UKA. But using that one, so the now percentage reduced up to reduced by 10 or 50 percent. Oh, but this is for fixed bearing. So uh, heavy uh, weight and the younger age doesn't matter in the mobile bearing. And 
Other of them, right? Right? Doesn't matter as long as there is no subluxation or severe bone loss. And fracture, fraction contracture, and the pairs alignment doesn't matter. We uh, do not care about the pre and post operative leg alignment. Anyway, our target is if an intermediate lawyer, and that means the bone wear of the arthritis is limited in the media anterior. And that means the osteoarthritis with intact ACL. If ACL does not work, uh, tibia will move anteriorly. Then posterior cartridge will warm. <clears throat> so uh, it implies uh, Cartridge weighs is limited at the anterior part of the medial condyle. The, oh, it is the indication of mobile bearing. So we call in the anterior in the mobile mobile bearing uh, the field. But for the fixed bearing user, uh, do not use this term, the anterior This is a baby for the mobile wearing But important is ACL function. So how to decide the intact ACL? Anterior drawer and MRI or anterior drawer or arthroscope. But we use stress X-ray to uh, make sure ACL intact or not. So in fraction, uh, 20 degrees in fraction and apply various and the stress, like this condition. Uh, the traction, uh, 20, uh, 20 degrees in fraction means the lux of media the latter, a collateral. So uh, then uh, we can apply the stress and evaluate. Uh, the cartridge status and in the same time the ACL status. So in the various race, because we should identify the bone on bone appearance. At least various race, Rosenberg or weighted AB view. At least one view we should confirm bone on bone appearance. Otherwise, uh, that is uh, basically contraindication of UK. If there is still uh, intact cartridge in the media side, we should define another cause of pain, such as a spine, hip, etc. Uh, anyway, so we should uh, confirm the complete cartridge way in the media side and on the biogas stress, so lateral cartridge. Lateral joint space should be normal and parts should be corrected. So, so for a correctable virus. Uh, that is confirmed. So, tibia joint line and femur joint line should be parent. If media size is uh, short and the lateral side open, uh, that implies the contracture of media collateral ligament. That also implies uh, the acid deficiency. And but sometimes the media open, we can find the media open and the further stress. Uh, some surgeons worry about uh, MCL collateral insufficiency, but it is quite rare. So maybe this patient implies the bone wear, not only the cartridge. If there is a no, uh, no bone wear, Joint line it should be parted. But uh, there is, if there is a bone defect, media side can be open. So uh, in most cases, you know, media side open doesn't matter. Uh, as a patient, you should confirm that. Firm in the point, applying the further stress. So with this, so physical examination is very important. So every patient you should 
apply uh, further stress and feels the end point, hard end point. Okay, and that's all. And Rosenberg view, Rosenberg view is very effective. And basically, uh, uh, this friction angle is different between the uh, paper, uh, but originally the, the uh, friction angle is 45 degrees in friction and PA view, poster and trail view, and uh, XL beam implies uh, 10 degrees to lower. Okay, so to uh, identify the suitability of UKA, it is quite useful to uh, the, the, the radiological signal aid. Uh, there are five items in this uh, signal aid. So if you match, if the patient match this signal aid, uh, the patient is the good candidate for UKA. The first one is media side bone on bone. Uh, second one is uh oh this is it. so second one the functional functionally intact ACL so erosion in the lateral X ray the find the erosion or bone defect a small bone defect if it locates anterior on the media tibia plateau uh, that implies the uh, intact ACL. But it locates the posteriorly, it implies ACL deficient. Uh, but in some patients or in most patients uh, does not have erosion it's on the straight, a straight condyle on the lateral X-ray, uh, that patient uh, might have intact ACL. So if you find the posterior erosion on the media side, you should avoid the UKA. So uh, this is, and lateral pattern should be normal in the vagus rest. Uh, but sometimes we can find, find uh, this osteophyte. Sometimes so the lateral osteophyte, uh, so uh, can can be a contraindication at least the piece bearing, but the mobile bearing it doesn't matter. But no care about the lateral uh, lateral osteophyte. Anyway, so but sometimes we can find a lateral cartilage where in the vagus stress. So we should carefully uh, observe the lateral. So uh, in some patients so on the normal X-ray and even on the weighted X-ray, the lateral pathway looks normal. But in the vagus stress, so we can find only, only the vagus stress X-ray, we can find the lateral cartilage where so if you find a small osteophyte in the lateral pathway, but uh, a good joint space on the normal AP view, you should order the stress X-ray to, to find this one. And furthermore, so lateral osteoarthritis is cartilage wear in the friction position, friction facet. So normal extended, knee extended AP view cannot identify the lateral X-ray. So you should take the X-ray and the slight friction and apply the vagus stress. Then, that's what I mean, you can find the lateral osteoarthritis. Already 16 years, okay, <laughs> item three. Okay, I already show you on the Friday. Sorry, tomorrow I don't have the lecture because I have not a meeting in the morning. はい、ということです。ACL のエロージョン。後ろにあっただろ。ダメ。はい、ちゃんた。ハロー。イエス、ちゃんた。モーニング。ケイコスが前に出て。
前に出てるから、生殖伝が欲しいです。バランスとレスって、LCL と MCL で、MCL が元気やったら、ACL の方が好きなそれはちょっと後でまた話するわ。うん。あのそれはまたあのいろんな理論があるね。どこまでほんまか分からへんけど。はい、ちゃんと。Hello, good morning. Yes, Professor. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. How are you today? Sorry. <laughs> in my home, I am in my home. Oh, your home. Okay. <laughs> yes. In Haka? Ah, no, Haka. No, you are home town. No, 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 in clay. Clay? Yes. 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 My hometown. Okay. Okay. It's it's uh, already exists uh, airport. Oh, in my really? hometown. Real airport. Yes. That I fly right. from Yango. Oh. Which uh which flight where from uh from Yango Yango Kale Yango Manly Kale yes already oh, exists okay. yes. yes. So I can come to you <laughs> in the near future. Yes, yes. coming, coming, uh, winner, coming winter, uh, I will invite you to come. Okay, okay. Is it safe? Yes, it. Is it safe? Uh, it's a it's a said to her say difficult. Oh. Uh, I think it's not safe. It's not safe. Every day. Every day I have about a gunshot and also heavy weapon. Mm, okay, okay. In my hometown, and uh, send all the village are uh, fire. Oh, really? Really? Oh. Yes. Yes. Okay. Seriously? Yes. Mm, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Take care. Take care. How about you? Yes. Yes. Uh, the, yes, the professor. Family. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Anyway. Okay. See, professor. Yes. 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 Teacher, and stabilize. I will come to your hometown. 